you might you might get a scenario. Well, anytime um, you're confronted with a person in a loving body, what have you, way to stick up situations, if they want material, you know, you want your wallet, things like that, you have to make a judgment call. How important is that material to you? How important is your life? Are you going to risk it? Oh, these couple dollars have your wallet, you know. So I always recommend, you know, for people, you know, if, if it's a piece of robbery, you know, there's a difference between intimidation and threat. It's like, you know, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you now. Okay? Yeah, that's a threat. Tell me what you're going to do. Intimidation is, there's, there's conditions. If you don't give me your wallet, I'm going to shoot you. If you don't give me those Jordans, I'm going to shoot you. Okay? It's if and buts. They really don't want to shoot you. Yeah, they just, they, they just want that's a means to end of getting whatever they would want. Okay? In those situations, I always, you know, I got to tell people, give it up. If they want to replace that. I don't care how sharp the techniques are, how big your ego is. Yeah, they just kind of going through this, I'm going to pump you, I'm going to, you know, 
humiliation type thing, you know what I mean? And, but you don't know, because at the same time, a lot of them don't practice good. Mm-hmm. Um, trigger this when they had a thing on the trigger. They might even have a hammer cop. Yeah. So it's real for you. <laughs> even if he playing because he, you know, and they'll be hitting you, yeah. they could accidentally bump the gun against you, mm-hmm. touch the trigger off and tap you in the head. That mm-hmm. happens. Then you lay down and go, oh, then the body's going to run. Like, oh, she killed him. You know what I mean? But then he mean to, but, you know, that, mm-hmm. that is what it is. So mm-hmm. that's what we, we simulate no sense in there. But don't, that's real. You know what I mean? A lot of times people rob you, they'll come up, they'll be, they'll be that too. Mm-hmm. Break yourself, tapping you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've seen that. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they tap you, pull your shirt up, check yeah. you. You know, and then they will be this close to that, that brings with most people who, who haven't had guns pointed at them, mm-hmm. who haven't been in, you know, like street combat, that'll shake them. Mm-hmm. And somebody, they ain't, they ain't about to try to do nothing. Mm-hmm. And the person paying them down, checking their product, you know, running their, you know, running their, you know, running their gear. Mm-hmm. They just, you know, they stay there. So, but he's still now you in that situation. You can only go get in that first, you slip it hard. Mm-hmm. You let somebody get up on you like that, you didn't have a good situation where. Right. Now we're here, now we're yeah. All right. Well, the way, if you had it, it's different ways. Yeah. Okay. Either, either let's, way. go, let's go, let's go from the straight way. If he got you. Way. If he had you here, that's going to determine the technique because it's where I'm going to pressure on him. Okay? I'll show both ways. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go from the standard way first. I'm, I'm, and then I'm, 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 I'm left handed. I'm going to go from the right hand. So again, I went from the tournament, I got to respond. I got to do this. I went from, you know, what do you think you're going to do? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Hands up, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the line of fire. All right? So I'm going to lower my level and raise this level. So quickly, you know, I'm going to So lower my level and raise another level of the weapon. All right? So getting out of the line of fire. Okay? So bringing the weapon down and towards me.
Let's say he got this in the word no. That's why this is the best place for me to be. But based on where God's position, I have to buy a boat, so I have a boat. You know what I'm saying? So really, you gotta come, gotta come here. You gotta work from here. Okay? It's like you here. Then I come here. Alright? Make sure that have, have that barrel run up where the barrel's coming at. You don't shoot yourself. You know what I'm saying? So come, come up again. In the side position, I'm going from the side, back angle here. So when I'm trying to face him, don't shoot, don't shoot. Alright? If I go over here, I want to bring it across. Okay? So I have to take this. Okay. Alright? He's going to start fighting. Boom. So I'm going to bring it back. Okay? Okay. Not, not doing so much of technique, but just something that most people do. If I try to grab it, then what's your first instinct? To pull it back, you know what I mean? And that's something that, uh, you know, like even if you're doing like a sub deal or doing the gun thing, you can always, and that's, most people won't even think about hitting so much. But I've seen when you get to tell some people, they always try to retain that weapon, you know what I mean? And at some point, if they get you close, then anyway, a lot of times people won't even swing the other hand because they'll take that other hand and try to grab the gun too. Because they hold everything in the world is on this on this, on this, on this gun. You know what I mean? And then, but if they get a point to where they start putting their body weight back in issue, then they'll they'll kind of they mind and kind of come, you know, punch them or something like that. But I know if y'all got any kind of distance between y'all, mm -hmm. they always try to retain that weapon. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you drop in, that's the case. Even when you go ahead, go ahead. here and you start getting back. <laughs> Follow that line, follow, follow his energy. He's coming back, you know, I come back. Okay? I come out, follow that same line. Okay? Can you get up? Let's turn around so she can see you. Yeah. So I grab my weapon, I pull it back, follow me, I push it, I leave it like that. Okay. So my energy is coming back. So yeah. All right. Follow it. And you did not set the grip. Push, push on the wrist. Okay. So I slip the arm so it can't move with it. First, the main thing is don't get shot. Get off line. Get off line. That's the first thing. Just put it immediately. Come here. Yeah, that's yeah. when you got it pointed at you. Okay. Now, now yank back. Push it. Push it on. There you go. Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of your hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you, you got it right there. Come here. Ooh. I'm in. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Right. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Mm -hmm. But that would be my next stop. I'd be trying to get it. Yeah. Yeah, my bad.
Sound good. Appreciate y'all. South of Guard Club. My man Seku with the uh, Warrior Robics. Y'all check him out. Y'all see everybody, you know, people. I think we're going to start doing it like when we get we up or uh, manage to get people to come together and start doing something. You know, it's going to be a part of the uh, mandatory uh, regimen of training for the mm-hmm. team. Because it's hard to do, like I said, with people's schedule, but we need to start really pushing everybody to do it because mm-hmm. it's outstanding. I just like it. It's fun to me, too. Mm-hmm. Just like shooting is actually fun. Brittany, you got a camera. Let me see, I'm taking the camera from. I don't know how many minutes we got. All right. Your last words. I don't have any. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love y'all. All right. Peace.